Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Nom 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 69 returning with our GDI Plus graphics tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be drawing images to our screen. So in our last tutorial, we set up some rectangles and we drew them. And it was all well and good in my opinion. But we can do better. Um, we can draw images with the e dot graphics structure. And it's very simple how to do that. So let's get rid of these two draw rectangles down here and we'll put in an image drawing and we're gonna keep this uh, e dot graphics at fill rectangle and we'll put it as a black so that way we paint in the black of like our canvas if you will we paint it black every time so that way we are kind of refreshing the form so we have like a back black drop for what we're gonna do it's kind of like SDL if you've seen my other tutorials and what we're going to do is we're going to we need an image to be drawn first so first we need to go to add existing item and I'm just going to go to my um, my pictures and in here oh uh, not that we need to go to our properties of our project we're in the properties of a project we go down to our resources we need to add resources add resources add existing files and we'll go to my pictures and there should be a test sprite here that I have and this is a little red test sprite that I drew He's, a 64 by 32 just a little stick figure I drew in paint real quick so in order to draw an image we're going to only access one um, graphics function so do e dot graphics dot draw image now we have this image over here under our resources tab but we need to access it so in order to get that we need to do system dot properties oh is properties properties dot resources dot test sprite so e dot graphics dot draw them is um, properties resources dot test sprite and there's one there's 30 overloads for this function they're pretty ridiculous um, there's only two overloads for this function I want to cover um, the in x and y where you can draw them We'll draw it at uh, 50, 50, and one that draws them at a point. So right now, what hap our little GDI Plus uh, stick figure is being drawn at 50, 50 from the origin up here. So there's one other way to draw. So this function, free parameters, the image, and the X and Y where you want to draw them. But there's another way you can do it, and it's with a point. So in order to do that, we'll do a new point, and a new and our point contains four parameters um, an X uh, no two parameters an X and a Y and so that and that's in our fourth overload for the punk the point constructor is the X and the Y so we'll just call it 50 50 and this will be identically similar to the last one you can use points to draw X and Y like those refer to little coordinates on the screen and you can also use X and Y's so uh, I would like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial I know it was a short one um, but it was a good one, I think. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.